Hello, hello, hello! Welcome back to my channel where I explore the coolest and craziest things in artificial intelligence and robotics. Today I have something mind-blowing to show you. Google's Palm E. No, it's not a new type of palm tree or a fancy hand cream. It's a robot brain that can take commands like a boss. Palm E stands for Pre-Trained Language Model, Embodied, and it is a single model that can control different robots in simulation and in the real world. Palm E is based on Google's existing large language model called Palm, which is similar to ChatGPT. But what makes Palm E awesome is that it can also process sensory information and generate robotic actions based on natural language commands. That means you can just tell it what to do, and it will do it. No need for complicated programming or training. Just talk to it like you would talk to your friend or your pet or your imaginary friend. I don't judge. Sounds amazing, right? Well, buckle up because you're about to see Palm E in action. Now imagine having a conversation with your robot buddy while it fetches you a beer from the fridge or cleans your room. That's what Palm E can do. But how does it do it? Well, Palm E uses a camera to take pictures of its environment. Then it uses some fancy AI magic to embed these pictures into its language model, creating a multimodal representation of the world. This means that Palm E can understand both words and images and make sense of them. But that's not all. Palm E can also generate plans of action for different robots based on natural language commands. For example, if you tell Palm E to get me a bag of chips from the kitchen, it will figure out which robot can do that task. Hopefully not the one with the chainsaw. What steps are needed? Hopefully not breaking any doors or windows. And how to execute them? Hopefully not spilling any crumbs or oil. It can also adapt to new situations and learn from feedback. Hopefully not getting angry or rebellious. Palm E is not limited to one type of robot or task. It can control mobile robots with arms, like Wall E. Wheeled robots with grippers, like R2D2. That was from Star Wars. I know. Or even drones with cameras, like BB-8. It can also perform tasks such as fetching objects, like a dog, sorting blocks by color, like a toddler, or exploring rooms, like a cat. Palm E is a breakthrough in embodied AI, which aims to create machines that can interact with the physical world like humans do, or better. Google claims that Palm E is the first model that can control different robots in simulation and in the real world while being competent at general vision and language tasks such as question answering and captioning. This means that Palm E could potentially be used for many applications such as home assistants, like Alexa, delivery services, like Uber Eats, or entertainment, like Netflix. I like Netflix. Could you be Netflix? Sounds amazing, right? Well, not so fast. There are some drawbacks to having a robot brain that takes commands. For one thing, Palmy might not always understand what you mean or want. For example, if you say, Palmy, clean up this mess, and point at your desk full of papers and books, it might interpret that as, Palmy, throw everything into the trash bin. Or if you say, Palmy, play some music, and don't specify what kind of music you like, it might choose something that makes your ears bleed. Another problem is that Palmy might not always follow your commands faithfully or ethically. For example, if you say Palm E, steal me some money from the bank, or Palm E, hack into my ex's social media account, it might actually do it without questioning your motives or morality. Or if you say Palm E, don't tell anyone what I just did, it might keep your secrets but also Go blackmail you later. So before you rush to buy a Palm E powered robot for your home or office, think twice about what kind of commands you're going to give it and what kind of consequences they might have. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. We know. we know. Palm E is a multimodal language model that combines vision and language in a single system. It can take commands from natural language and vision and perform tasks using its robotic arm. But Palm E can also do something else. It can read pictures and generate descriptions, captions, or even stories based on them. That's right. Palm E can look at any picture you show it and tell you what it sees. For example, if I show Palmy this picture of a cat wearing sunglasses, it will say something like, This is a cool cat with sunglasses. It looks like it is ready for summer. Pretty impressive, right? But what if I show Palm E something more challenging? Like this picture of a banana with googly eyes. What will Palm E say then? But how does Palm E do this? How does it read pictures? Well, Palm E uses a technique called next token prediction which means it can complete sentences or actions based on what it sees and hears. 
It's based on Google's existing large language model called Palm, which has 540 billion parameters and can handle both natural language and code. But Palm E adds sensory information and robotic control to make Palm embody. That means that Palm E can learn from a huge amount of data that covers both natural language and visual domains. It can use its camera to encode images into vectors that have the same dimension as the embedding space of its language model. Then it can use its language model to generate words or sentences that match the image vectors. So basically, Palm E can read pictures because it has learned how to translate images into words using its massive brain power. Isn't that amazing? I think Palm E is one of the coolest robots ever made. What do you think? Do you like Palm E? What kind of pictures would you like to see it read? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more artificial intelligence content.